Morning all. It's Wednesday the 11th of November. Oh gosh, I just don't want to wake up at the moment. It's cold outside. Um, Marvin keeps barking at all the horses that go past. So I'm waking up very early and then I'm going back to sleep. And then I'm struggling to wake again. <sighs> I know we're in lockdown and I kind of think, Meh, don't need to wake up, but I do want to do stuff today. Uh, I've gained four pounds and I know exactly why. God damn you, Aldi crisp puffs are so cheesy. I love them. So nice. Mm, not having any more of those. Um, I was trying to watch a film last night and it just wouldn't buffer through. I don't know what was going on there. So, um, where I'm at, I have to carry my cassette. And um, I've got to do that today. Because if it gets too full, I can't. I struggle to carry it. Carrying a box of shit. And um, I have to. I have to get these metal prongs, move this mat, then use the prongs to lift up the lid, and then pour it down there. And um, I have to do that in front of the house. So I'm doing like my my shit jiggle. <laughs> I put the water in and then jiggle it side to side, doing my shit jiggle. And I just find it so embarrassing. <laughs> the young kids are in the house opposite watching me. If only they knew. They probably know. Oh, yeah. They probably know exactly what's in it. But it's just like... Mm, so... <laughs> I have to do that. I've got to fill up Hank's tank. Now, the problem is, is that I can't... <laughs> The water is on the grass, so I either have to drive it round, or I um, I just fill up one of my my water buckets. The problem is, if one of my water buckets is now leaking, so I've just ordered another one. That's three. That's the third one. Do people also go through lots of water buckets? Because, um, well, water storage boxes. Because this is ridiculous. Uh, hopefully the fog will go down. The fog has not left me. I'm waiting for these really strange men to come out with hooks and ah, 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 get me. I don't know. Anyway, catch you tomorrow. Love, 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 love. Good morning, all. It is day 37, the 12th of November. Um, I've got to a point now where I feel like I don't have much to tell you guys. Um... I've got my live streams that I'm doing at the weekend. That My second one is coming up this Saturday, which I'm really excited for. Um, I'm just chilling out, trying to finish off the edits of the videos and space them out. I've decided that next year, I think I was pushing myself to do 150 in 12 months because it's three pubs a week and then I've got to edit them, which is a massive mammoth task. Um, so I'm thinking from January, I'm going to reduce that down to two, which means, I mean, with everything with the COVID, the Guinness thing is, um, a no go, which upsets me slightly because I've got so much printed stuff, um, with the, about the Guinness world record that, um, I'm just going to have to make edits on each, on each letter that goes out to the new pubs. Uh, I'm going to finish off the pubs that I had originally to do in, um, November, December, in the end of December and then I'm gonna have a couple of weeks off over Christmas and New Year get those edits done and then start again probably mid January and um, then get the tour up and running I'm just waiting to see how things go in regards to the live beer tasting because if that goes well I'll keep doing that um, because I really thoroughly <laughs> I had so much fun um, doing that uh, I woke up in the middle of the night last night and I'm 40 years old and I was soaking wet. Um, I had, to, I was, I was woke myself up because I was very cold. So I put the heater on and um, for all you guys, you might want to cover your ears right now. But for all the ladies out there, my mum and my grand were very young when they went through the change. Um, I'm hoping it's not this just yet um but you never know i mean my mum was 36 i think my gran was earlier than that i think she was 35 um 
uh, my sister was quite early as well so um, I'd hate that to be happening this time of year well I suppose with it being cold the problem is is it when I got when I was sweating um, I th the sweat then got cold and that's what woke me so it's a good job I've got a new mattress coming so I mean I've got toppers on my bed ever since Marvin did the pee on, peeing on me I've got covers on there so everything's protected which is great um, but this is really not what I want right now, not to go through the change. I don't feel any difference in regards to my well-being. Um, you know, um, I don't know whether it makes you lethargic or non-energised or anything like that. Don't feel any of that. I feel quite, quite, uh, I still quite, quite happily me, to be honest. Um, I went, we went, Marvin and I went on a walk yesterday, not yesterday, the day before in the evening. And we did the same walk yesterday during the day. And you wouldn't believe it. There was ponds and lakes and beautiful houses. I even came across a house that had a bag full of apples, loads of apples that said, please take them, they're free. So I grabbed some, um, I grabbed some apples So and they're really tasty. Um, so it's really nice to see the countryside of where I am during the day. Um, I'm just got i'm going to bring my blog vlog should i say up to date so um so i'm all caught up then so you guys are all caught up with me as well and um yeah um everything's happy and i'm just sharing my story with some facebook groups who have responded so beautifully to me one group actually removed my post which was really disheartening especially when i tell my story about colin and you know my kind of reasoning of why i'm here with the journey so i think i might leave that group i just feel as though you know to be able to remove somebody who's just opened up their heart to you to a group of strangers and um I think that's really sad. So I might leave that group um, because all the other groups have been beautifully fantastic. And I thank every every single one of them. Uh, I want to say a great big thank you to all the people who've just recently subscribed. I just had a huge boom, which is amazing. You guys are rock. And I can't wait to get things back up and running again. Normal. What, what is normal? <laughs> but you know what I mean. Anyway, folks, enjoy your day and I'll catch you later. I've just been editing last week's um um video diaries and i've come to realize that it looks like i'm wearing the same clothes over and over again um i i have noticed that i have a lot of this color tops and the blue color tops i've got about four blue t-shirts three in the, in this like mahogany color maybe i need to wear some different clothes because it looks like i just go to sleep in what i wear and then just wear the same stuff every day so um yeah I think I need to spice up my wardrobe <laughs> I, mentioned, I know that last week I was concerned about I, ha I heard this kind of crackle sound and uh I thought I smell smell this like egg smell <laughs> you won't believe it I've been feeding Marvin these new treats from Aldi <laughs> And it was her ass. <laughs> She's a smelly girl. I've got a smelly girly dog. Where is she? There she is. Hey, smelly. Smelly Marvin. Are you smelly? Are you a stinker? Yeah, she, she is. So, yeah, the battery's good. <laughs> Good morning. It's day 38. It's Friday the 13th. Oh my gosh. Did not know that that was coming. Um, my watch has broken. Uh, it's now quarter past black, as you can see. Um, I set my alarm for half past black and it didn't go off. So i um, got to get a new watch. Uh, so I've ordered that. Um, I got a different t-shirt on this morning, look. <laughs> or a different colour, should I say. So it doesn't get mixed in. Because, um, yeah, I'm a bit um, bit concerned about all the colour, the same colours I've got in my wardrobe now. 
I forgot to mention earlier that I ordered a mattress topper because my um, my bed is slowly killing me. I wake up like being hit by a train. And um, so I ordered this mattress topper, said to me that it would be there in three, in six days. And six days later, they're saying, no, it's still not gone out yet. So I've said, right, well, I uh, cancel this order so I can order a different one. So I've ordered a different one, which should arrive. I'm just really concerned that, you know, all the um, reviews and stuff that I read about all the mattress toppers just talk about how they've got this weird chemical smell um which i'm concerned at but we'll find out when i get that uh but last night i had such a, a a a gale i woke up in the middle of the night thinking that if i don't if the van isn't in gear i'm going to roll down the hill and smash into a tree <laughs> so i woke up like uh probably i don't know what time it was like two three in the morning um no it must have been later than that about four in the morning and um, made sure that Hank was in gear, got back into bed. It was very cold, so I had to put the heater on just to keep me warm. But um, yeah, how bizarre, I was dreaming that I was rolling down a hill. I am, I'm not quite straight here, I'm not quite flat. So, um, you know, I do, I know that I am on a slope, and because of that, that's probably why I was, I was, uh, having such a strange dream but um yeah i'm really looking forward to getting my bed uh i need that as soon as possible because that i i do i am in a bit of pain my hips feel like they're disintegrating into each other um but um other than that what i've decided i've got two double plug sockets in the kitchen that i'm going to run an extension cable underneath the window down here and um to be positioned underneath where i'm sat um, and I'm just going to fix them to the side. That way I can have my blowy on a, um, on a, uh, timer. I've just found a remote control plug that I had that I use for, um, the radio equipment and stuff for lights and that. But, um, um, I'm going to put it on a timer so that, you know, certain time, because I've got two blowies, one that's on a remote control, so I won't be able to use that. Uh, but the other one, which is normal, I can just fix it here. So it's blowing at like maybe five in the morning to give it an hour's blast um, to hopefully wake me up. Because I know that I'm struggling waking. I don't know if anybody else is finding this, but I do struggle to wake up. My blinds are blackout blinds. And if I keep them open, then I get a small draft. So um, and then because I suffer with SADS, uh, the season, the seasonal disorder, when it gets, when it gets dark, I think, you know, I wake up, if my alarm goes off and I hear it, don't know why I'm not hearing it at the moment, um, I see that it's dark and I will automatically go back to sleep. That's probably what I'm actually doing and I'm not aware of it happening. So yeah, if I've got a bit of warmth, then I can leave the blind open slightly um, or I can leave the curtain open because I have curtains for each section. Uh, I will have the curtain open so I can have the dining uh, the, the dining room, the breakfast blind like this one here, slightly open, which will give me some light. So I'm hoping that's going to work. Um, but I just don't understand. I could sleep and I can really sleep. Marvin, what are you doing? And I, I could quite happily sleep lots of it as well. So I don't know why that's coming, coming about, but, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting my bed. I'm going to sort out and have a look for an extension cable because I think I've got one in, in my storage. And, um, Marvin, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you going to say hello? Uh, but we're going to have a walk now. We're going to go for a big walk. Um, walk to my mum's because she's my bubble. Um, and, then, um, and then enjoy the day. Look at you with your big flappy neck big flappy neck out what's going on here say hello say hello morning all it is saturday my second beer tasting session tonight i'm really excited uh my new mattress has come marvin is terrorizing the horses outside um I had to get a taxi back from my mum's last night because we'd walked and um, 
uh, my mattress arrived, my mattress topper arrived. It's, I've got no real wear to flatten it out. So it's kind of just laying over my table at the moment. Um, but I'm really, I can't wait. I have a good night's sleep. I think because um, Hank's 30 years old, um, I think it's probably never had new sponge in it and despite I've been have, I've been sleeping in it for five uh, well six weeks now um, it really is taking its toll um, I'm not waking up as bad as what I was you know last week um, but I really do I cannot wait to get this topper on and have a good comfy night's sleep uh, not that I'm going to probably notice it tonight because after the four beers that I've got to try for tonight's session um, I know that it's going to be, be a bit messy <laughs> um, got some new hair gel for my hair because I'm just finding that um, I just need something that holds my curl I mean this is beautiful it's lovely and I go to sleep I go to sleep most nights with, in one of these so I've got my hair in one of these, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and I still wake up and it's like this. So it's not dry, it's not. Um, but yeah, any ladies out there that's doing the curly girl method, please let me know what they're using. I use a lot of Cantu products and yeah, I don't know whether I should need I don't know whether I need a haircut or something, but just got my also I got in my in the post my 250 something gigabyte memory card. So I've now got over 500 gigs of memory. So I will never ever have a problem of footage again, which is amazing. I it's I'm still all gravy. I'm still all happy. Um I start the van up every day. Hank, he's all good. I've got to do some silicone um, soon, but it just keeps raining. So uh, as soon as I get a good dry day, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to head down to Leicestershire very, very soon to get back down to the bull. Uh, and I'm hoping that when the video goes out, which will be not quite some time away now because of lockdown and stuff. So I'm only doing one video a week, but um, I'm hoping that people will go to the bull because it's absolutely fantastic. And the bull burger is amazing. Uh, but for now, this is me. Good morning, Saturday, beard tasting tonight. I'll obviously do a little video later so you know just how bad I get. <laughs> It'll be fun. <laughs> hey, folks. Whoa. I'm slightly squiffy. I wonder why. I've had a wonderful night tonight. Uh, I really have trying new beers and had loads of people on the live chat, which was amazing. I can't wait now for next week. Please, everybody who tuned in tonight, tell all your friends. Um, <laughs> I love the comment. The Nigella of beer. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Referring to the colour of beer as the same colour as pee may not be the Nigella of beer, but I love it. I will take that as a compliment. Thank you very much. Um, I've, had, I've had a wonderful time. I've had a wonderful night. It's been amazing. It really has. Um, I think next week I'm going to get dressed up too because I just think that, you know, it's weekends that we're supposed to be going out. We're not out. So let's make the most of it. Um, <laughs> I'm so squiffy. Oh gosh, my head is going to be so sore tomorrow. And I'm about, <laughs> I'm about to put my new mattress topper on my bed. So I've got to move little Marvin who's all comfy, she's like, look at that face, what the hell, you're going to move me, I'm going to move you Marvin, I'm going to move you, she's like, get off me, I will kill you, I will kill you with a single look, <laughs> um, okay, uh, end, week end, 
It's been great. I've been, it's been great. I'm, I'm really pleased. I'm loving life right now. I love life right now. And, you know, it's weird. I do... I know I said this last week, but every, the more and more happy I am, the more and more I think about Colin, because I know how happy he would be, but I'm happy that I know that he he would be happy knowing I'm happy, if that makes any sense. I don't know. But I'm just, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled to have such a wonderful community of you guys that watch me and support me and make lovely comments. And I want to do a shout out to do little campers because you guys have, you guys rock. You always send me lovely little comments. And um, who else? Let's do some shout outs, shall we? All the shout outs of all the beautiful, wonderful people. Star Taylor, shout out to you. You're amazing. Do little, do little campers. Love you guys to bits. I think, you, <laughs> I think you guys rock. Um. Ian Robshaw, you've a new new chap that I've met along the way at um, the Griffins Inn. You guys, yeah, thank you so much for supporting me. Uh, Julie Cross, you're awesome. Uh, Deborah Hammond, you're awesome. And um, where are we? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, Roman, roaming in Raymond Motorhome Adventures. Thank you for starting to watch me. Um, and Country Van Life TV, you guys, you're awesome. Thank you so much. And um, there's another person that I need to praise. Is it is it Mr. Adventure? I can't think where they call somebody called Dark Destroyer. Dark Destroyer, I have come to destroy you. Ha ha ha! I got squiggy shackles oh yes i met them at the nelthorpe they were fantastic took marvin out for loads of walks <laughs> um hitch up and toe thank you very much for your support uh eric lacy thank you for your support adrian white thank you for your support um don't know who that is um there's have i got lots of i've got lots of rude messages on here <laughs> Uh, Captain Fantastic, there he is. Thank you so much. And everybody else, I'll do, I'll start doing some shout outs, I think. And I think I'm going to do this, um, 40 questions next week. Um, I know, I know nobody's nominated me, but, um, yeah, I don't know where you get the questions from, but I'm sure we can find them. But I just want to say a great thank you to everybody who tuned in tonight. I had a wonderful time. Um, I'm so squiffy. I've got to make a bed. I've got to dismantle a bed to make a bed. <laughs> see you next week. No, no. See you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, good morning. I've been woke up with this. I don't know if there's a storm happening outside or I mean it's not very nice. Oh I got my new mattress. Oh my god, it's amazing. It's so comfortable that I just feel like I've become part of the bed. So nice, so warm. Oh, it's lovely. I am more awake now. Um, I did try and go back to sleep. I was very tired. Uh, this bed is so amazing. I don't think I ever want to get out of this bed. But obviously I've got stuff to do. Um, today I want to empty a lot of the stuff out of my wardrobe. I've got a big box. Can you hear that tapping? That's the wind moving the flap that goes over my electricity hookup cable and it just flaps. I've got to put something on that to stop it from flapping. Um, yeah, I've got a whole box full of jumpers and shoes. I just don't need them. So I'm going to use the box that the mattress topper came in 
uh, fill up this box with as much stuff as I can that I don't need because I've got so many cupboards full of stuff and I'm going to leave that at my mum's so um, I'm going to do that today obviously I'm going to finish off this blog so everybody's up to date with me um, my hangover is not so much now which is great I think I've slept it off I have got out of bed made a coffee and then got back into bed <laughs> It's so comfy, so comfy, so warm, so lovely. Um, yeah, I'm just chilling out. I'm gonna have Sunday lunch, well, Sunday dinner at my mum's, which I'm, I, it's really nice, really tasty. It's like the best gravy in the world. Um, and and if everybody who appreciates their mum's cooking knows exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, gravy, gravy. Um, and that's about it. That's about it for this week. I've had a great week, a uh, great show. Um, everything's brilliant. Um, and I'll catch you guys next week. I know I have shortened it slightly, um, just so that I can get the, the video diaries out on a Sunday. So don't worry, you're going to have Monday to Sunday next week. <laughs> Hugs and love. Catch you later. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.